so we are discussing in the online classes uh, about the electrochemistry okay now we reach in the last section of electrochemistry all about the cell and battery so today we'll see in this video about the cell and battery okay so first of all let's see what do you mean by cell and and what is the difference between the cell and the other electrochemical system okay so now cell or battery is the you can say electrochemical cell in which we are getting energy electrical energy from the chemical reaction okay suppose i think you know that uh, you have you are using regularly suppose battery this much size battery you know pencil battery in our remote in our mobile in our watches uh, you can say world clock okay world clock and then your you can say earring system it may be bluetooth headphone it may be any other things suppose it may be electron device mobile it may be laptop inverter battery car battery all are made up of the by the concept of electrochemistry in which we are doing some chemical reactions that means inside the cell inside the battery we are having some chemical reactions from the chemical reactions we are getting energy we are getting energy so now this cell may be of different different type now here we will discuss about the two broad category of the cell okay so the first category is the primary cell that means primary battery and the second category is the secondary cell okay so let's see in the board okay. so as i said primary and secondary cell so suppose i'm just writing as a difference okay primary cell primary cell secondary cell okay primary cell are the cell are the cell which cannot be recharged we cannot recharge again okay we can one time use only but the secondary cell we can recharge that means primary cell we can use only one time but this is the second so we can use again and again okay can be used can be used again and again and these are not used again and again nothing but what one time only one time use okay say for example you know this sir okay very common thing suppose your okay, watch battery watch battery suppose uh, you are having suppose a remote battery remote you know remote no we are having this much of such battery so this and i have some specific name specific category specific name suppose suppose this watch battery i am saying for example it may be it may be okay it may be a dry cell dry cell that means whatever the substances whatever the metal whatever the you can say electrolyte are there inside the cell all are in dry condition we have some example it may be it may be mercury battery it may be you can say um, that one uh, nickel cadmium battery this sir okay so this is the dry cell and another example is that mercury mercury cell i'll come individually uh, what do you mean by mercury cell what do you mean by dry cell okay so and in the secondary cell the examples are suppose these are uh, lead lead storage battery lead storage battery it may be lead storage battery nothing but what our car battery inverter battery okay and suppose another example lithium iron battery this lithium ion battery no it is very lightweight that's why we are using in our laptop or mobile okay lightweight but this is lithium and lead storage battery very heavy that's why if you uh, any, uh, if you carry it no uh, then you will realize that it how much it is heavy lead storage battery in a car or inverter battery no very much heavy okay another example is nickel cadmium battery for the secondary cell 
this much is the you can say the broad classifications of a battery or cell primary and secondary okay so let's go to the second that means individually what do you mean by dry cell okay let's see dry cell is the you can say example of primary cell okay let's see about the dry cell dry cell dry cell okay see dry cell it is consist of one second okay dry cell as we know that if it is electrochemical system it should be one it should have one anode and one cathode so in the dry cell it is consist of consist of anode anode uh, it is a, it is uh, it is uh, consist of anode anode of anode of zinc okay zinc container zinc container and cathode of of graphite graphite electrode graphite electrode and which is surrounded by the powder which is surrounded which is surrounded by uh, a mixture okay a paste or mixture of magnesium okay magnesium manganese manganese dioxide uh, manganese oxide and carbon this carbon nothing but what graphite only okay graphite is carbon only okay so now main thing let's see the diagram and then it will be clear okay how it is so diagram is here so this is the diagram or can say the representation of a dry cell okay as i said zinc contained at the anode that's why i say this layer this is the outer layer okay this outer layer this outer layer is consist of zinc which act as the anode okay and the another electrode it should be there no another electrode is made up of carbon black or nothing but carbon this carbon is here is known as graphite you can write graphite which is act as the cathode cathode but inside the electrode that means the uh, graphite electrode and zinc anode we should have some what electrolyte here as it is dry cell we are having an electrolyte is a mixture of manganese oxide carbon black and the ammonium chloride ammonium chloride it's produce a mixture that means a paste okay it is not a perfectly dry it is paste this paste is kept inside these two electrode and makes this dry cell okay now this must is clear that what are the component it consists okay now what is the you can say uh, half cell reaction half cell reactions so we have to know about the um, reduction half reaction and the oxidation half reaction in the cathode and anode let's see about the reactions so so we know at anode we will have oxidation reactions so so at anode i'm writing at anode okay so at anode the reaction will be reaction will be zinc solid goes to zinc Two positive aqueous plus two electron that's why i said electro uh, oxidation similarly at cathode it should be reduction okay the reduction reaction is like that manganese oxide it is solid react with nh4 positive nh4 it is nh4 positive plus it takes one electron as it is reduction and it forms it is forms manganese oxide okay manganese oxide hydroxide this is a you can say moist mixture moist mixture plus ammonia plus ammonia now if you noticed if you notice or if you observed then no, after using the battery that means after finishing the charge of our normal cell you can say uh, our pencil battery that we are using in remote and torch lights if it, it may be uh, your um, battery of watch 
these are after using okay after using when we throw no this become it will be soft nature it will be soft nature this soft nature is because of the formation of this manganese oxide hydroxide compound okay because of the formation of this compound okay this is all about the dry cell now this dry cell can be used in watches okay it may be used in camera okay it may be used in hearing aid suppose headphone Bluetooth headphone hearing aids okay these are the use and all about the uh, dry cell okay so now let's see another example of primary cell it is mercury cell okay so let's see mercury cell mercury cell okay okay mercury cell mainly consist of mercury and the amalgam of mercury and zinc okay so it consists of of zinc mercury amalgam amalgam nothing but a mixture mixture okay amalgam okay. amalgam s s as anode and and a paste of mercuric oxide carbon mercuric oxide and carbon as cathode as cathode okay and a paste of potassium hydroxide here is the main thing potassium hydroxide and or and zinc oxide as electrolyte anode cathode electrolyte anode, anode is zinc mercury amalgam cathode is uh, mercury oxide and carbon mixture and the electrolyte is what potassium hydroxide and zinc oxide so now what will be the uh, cell reaction main thing is here cell reaction so the cell reaction will be like that at anode at anode and now it is zinc sorry zinc mercury zinc amalgam amalgam reacted with OH negative this OH negative came from the electrolyte potassium hydroxide okay K plus OH negative that's why it came OH negative so it produce zinc oxide it is solid plus water plus two electron electron is removed that's why it is oxidation similarly at the third will have reduction reactions the reaction is like that mercury oxide is solid plus water plus uh, two electron and it's produce that mercury liquid plus two OH negative now you may say that from where water came from where water came this water came from this electrolyte okay zinc uh, potassium hydroxide that means it will dissolve in water and the zinc oxide also from where water came and this water takes part in the chemical reactions and like this okay so now if we use if we add these two reaction you will get the overall cell reactions overall cell reactions now if we use note that we have to see the electron electrons are same same so directly we can add so if we add our reaction will become uh, zinc mercury that means zinc amalgam plus 2OH negative plus our mercury oxide solid plus water plus sorry finish then the product will be our zinc oxide solid plus water water and then mercury liquid plus 2OH negative okay now we may have see okay now we can cancel or not let's see though okay we can cancel something yes we can cancel see here 2 OH negative 2 OH negative water 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 
So if you cancel, no, these two part, this one also cancel, this one also cancel, this one also cancel, this one cancel. So after canceling overall reaction, that is final overall reaction, you will get like this. Zinc amalgam reacting with uh, mercury oxide and giving the product zinc oxide and mercury liquid. So this is our overall reaction. Okay, I think it is clear. So this is all about the primary cell. So now let's go to the secondary cell. Okay, secondary cell. Okay. So the first example of our secondary cell, it is lead storage battery that we are using regularly in our home battery, that means inverter or car. And you just write from the video only. Okay. So first one is lead storage battery. Lead storage battery. Okay. Main thing, no, we have to know the diagram of this lead storage battery. Okay. So diagram usually came in the question. Okay. So now it is consist of it consists of lead plate. Lead plate as anode. Lead plate as anode. This is anode. Directly I'm written. Okay. Lead plate anode and grid of lead lead grid of lead packed with magnesium oxide sorry lead oxide grid of lead uh, packed with lead oxide this uh, this one no that a lead or grid of packed with lead oxide nothing but what no will have a and like this net okay like this will have a net this is grid grid okay inside this grid now we have some space in this space this paste lead oxide paste is introduced like a layer like a layer that's why it's a uh, grid of lead oxide and packed with lead uh, grid, with, grid of lead and packed with lead oxide okay next and this is the anode it become cathode okay cathode now we need electrolyte. Here the electrolytes are thirty-eight percent solution solution of sulfuric acid H two SO four. Now let's see how it uh, diagrammically we can represent. Okay, let's see. Okay, suppose I'm saying. Um, first of all, I'm drawing a container. Okay, suppose this is a container. Now try to understand. Okay, try to imagine with your battery. I think uh, most of you have a battery in your home. That is inverter battery. Okay, so this is a plastic container that you have in the inverter battery. Plastic container, very hard plastic container. Inside the container, we have so many plates. So many plates. So suppose I'm giving that lead plate anode is by red color and this uh, cathode lead packed with um, lead oxide is in suppose uh, blue color okay so this is the one plate suppose i am giving one plate of anode one plate of cathode like alternatively one plate of cathode again one plate of anode one plate of cathode one plate of anode, one plate of uh, that suppose red are the um, anode and the blue are the cathode. These are placed alternative way. Alternative way. Now all the anode and all the cathode are interconnected. Okay, not cross interconnected. How it is? Let's see. Suppose this side I am taking anode and all anode are connected like that. Okay. Similarly, in the right side, I am taking suppose cathode. Okay, so that's why suppose here the cathode all are connected like that. Like that. Okay, so anode here it is negative. Suppose here it is positive. Positive. Now inside the container, I am giving acid solution. 
ठीक है एंड दिस ऑसिलेज इस 38 परसेंट एस टू एस ऑफ़ फॉर सॉल्यूशन एंड एंड दिस विल रिएक्ट बाय देयर सेल रिएक्शन एंड प्रोड्यूस इलेक्ट्रिसिटी प्रोड्यूस इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ठीक है वन थिंग आई फॉरगेट टू से इन द ड्राई सेल ड्राई सेल dry cell produce nearly 1.5 volt of electricity nearly and the um, next one mercury cell produce nearly 1.35 1.35 volt of electricity potential potential okay so now here also this battery can produce 12 volt 12 volt okay so now let's see now we have to see the mainly the reactions, the cell reactions. Okay, so let's see the cell reactions. So at anode, at anode, at anode, it should be oxidation. So at anode, the reaction is Pb solid plus SO42 negative. It is came from the uh, electrolyte, that's why aqueous and forms Pb SO4 plus. Two electron. This is is aqueous. Okay, this is aqueous. PbSO4 lead sulfate and two electron here. Similarly, at cathode, we'll have reduction, and this reduction reaction is like that. Here, that paste lead oxide will use. Okay, the reaction is lead oxide. It is solid. Okay, solid react with Sulfur, sulfate to negative ion from the acid okay and came four moles of H plus plus two electron it produce again lead sulfate equals plus water this water so if we add this to chemical reaction you will get the overall cell reaction this one you can do okay so now as I said, this is used in the automobile, is used in the inverter and so many appliances. Okay. So this is all about the dry cell, uh, mercury cell and the lead storage battery. Now the another two types of cell we have. Last one cell uh, in this secondary cell category we have nickel cadmium cell. Nickel cadmium cell. We have the next um, example of secondary cell it is nickel cadmium battery. Okay, nickel cadmium battery. So in the nickel cadmium battery, as we uh, understand from the name only, that nickel, nickel and cadmium is used as a metal. Metal. Okay. So now here, here we have cadmium as cadmium as anode and nickel hydroxide as cathode as cathode okay nickel hydroxide as cathode and the overall cell reaction is like that okay overall here i am not writing the individual cell reaction directly overall cell reaction i'm writing because it is written in for this type of special cell okay so here cadmium solid plus two nickel hydroxide three Okay, it is also solid. It is also solid and react to form cadmium solid plus nickel hydroxide 2. It is also solid plus water. Okay, this is 2 for balancing. This is the overall cell ratio of nickel cadmium cell. Now this cell have this cell have have better la life then then uh, lead l lead okay pb lead storage battery it has long life from the nickel to uh, lead uh, lead storage battery okay so now if it has long life than lead storage battery then why we are using lead storage battery instead of cadmium nickel battery so this can nickel cadmium battery is expensive expensive that's why we are not using this one we are using lead storage battery suppose suppose this much big size battery okay that we are using in our home inverter it is nearly cost of suppose normal one i'm saying cost of nearly 15000 rupees 15000 rupees but same 
same you can say uh, same category of battery made up of nickel cadmium system is will cost around more than 40,000 rupees 40,000 rupees that's why we are not using that one we are using lead storage battery though it has little bit less life as a compared to nickel cadmium battery now i think you know that battery are are you can say categorized mainly or you can say uh, batteries are given uh, feedback uh, based on their lifetime this lifetime again based on their cycle cycle means what no see we are recharging we are charging and we are whenever we have electricity then it is charges it charged and where electricity gone that time that charge is used and provide the electricity nothing but what sometimes it is charging sometimes it is discharging okay charging means it is taking electricity discharging means it is giving electricity so now in this cycle charging discharging charging discharging so it has some number of cycle suppose a average battery average battery have cycle nearly 400 times 400 times 400 times that's why no that's why a battery uh, nearly last long nearly two or three years two or three years nearly but it's not a fixed for all case okay it is nearly so so depending on their lifetime that is cycle lifetime it is timed as which one is will last longer which one is last less time okay and the cadmium nickel cadmium battery has lifetime more than thousand cycle thousand cycle that's why it has long lifetime so these are all about the cell now we have the next cell next cell it is the fuel cell fuel cell now see why we are using fuel cell because of the mainly uh, to decrease the pollution decrease the pollution so now fuel cell is a uh, one type of cell which uh, which convert the energy which convert sorry which giving energy by combustion of some gases these gases may be uh, hydrogen gas may be oxygen gas may be directly it is taking some uh, fuel fuel or suppose it is methane methanol suppose it is um, cng like that okay fuel cell so now let's see um, hydrogen oxygen fuel cell it is a one example it is given in your syllabus okay so now hydrogen oxygen fuel cell so so in this fuel cell fuel uh, fuel cell here this, this carbon is filled with the um, little amount of platinum and palladium for their efficiency okay so now hydrogen gas is introducing by this side and oxygen gas introducing by this side and inside the two electrode suppose you can take this one is anode this one is suppose cathode minus plus okay so then this concentration uh, the concentrated solution of sodium hydroxide is used inside these two electrode that means nothing but electrolyte right. now after this complete cell reactions we are having water we are having water that means water is produced and this water can be used as a drinking purpose drinking purpose that's why i know uh, in the field of astro science in the field of astro science or you can say um you can say space space research system okay this cell is used for the consumption of what water so that after some time when they are in a space okay when they are in a space ship ship they can use the water from this cell okay because it is a lightweight and very efficient okay. so now at anode at anode we are having the suppose reaction that anode oxidation reaction is two molecule of hydrogen gas when react with uh, four molecules of OH negative aqueous this OH negative came from the sodium hydroxide and it gives four water liquid plus four electron okay I mean here because of the space at cathode obviously we have reduction reaction and the reaction is oxygen gas is react with water plus takes two electron and gives 4 OH negative 
equals. And this is the half cell reactions. Now, if you write the overall cell reaction, it becomes it's equal to C two H two gas plus O two gas. It's producing what? Water. It's producing water, and the water is two molecule of water. It is liquid. It is liquid. Now, see overall cell reaction. Whatever we are having, no, it is producing water liquid. That water can be used for the drinking purpose. Okay, that's why it is used in the space. Space. So now, main thing. Okay, why we are using this uh, oxygen, hydrogen fuel cell? Because of the three advantages. First advantage, it is highly efficiency. First advantage of this hydrogen oxygen fuel cell is high efficiency. Okay, second advantage, it is the uh, continuous source of energy it produces energy continuously okay continuous source of energy and the third process is that pollution pollution free because whatever we are having hydrogen oxygen and water all of these are not producing uh, pollution and the sodium hydroxide remain inside only that's why it is pollution free okay so now these are all about that this chapter and uh, here in this video especially about the different types of cell okay so now we have another one to two pick one two topics and the topics is corrosion and the hydrogen economy corrosion i think you know very well and the notes i will give and the hydrogen economy you just go through by your own okay by yourself one time you just read you will get this is not a tough topic okay one paragraph only okay so this much is complete all of your chapter that means uh, electrochemistry complete chapters and some um, question answer also i'll give in the pdf in your group okay thank you